producer of the show really is the person who employs all of the, first of all, the creative team, uh, the writer, the composer, the director, and the choreographer. And then slowly we add the rest of the cast and we just keep going till finally you add the juveniles. At the same time, I organize script preparation, the music composition, the scenery, the costumes, the finance, the marketing, the poster design. In fact, you know, I'm the like overall responsibility. I started off as an ASM, the lowest job, and I slowly worked my way all through stage management. I had in those days ambitions to be an actor. I became an actor and I was an actor for seven years. And then finally, um, an opportunity to direct a show came along. Um, and so I did that and got offered more directing. Then started to direct shows for other people. And finally thought, I'm going to now um, produce my own shows, which I will then direct. The difference between a pantomime and a musical is mostly to do with the depth of characterization, the exploration of the psychology of, and the motivations of the characters. In a pantomime, most of the characters are stock characters, mm. and in some ways they are superficial. Mm, cliches. Yes, and the audience come in knowing them. It's commedia dell'arte. Mm. Uh, it's one mm. of the roots mm. of pantomime. What we've done here is um, we've still got the fairy godmother. Uh, to bring magic to it, all the other characters, some of whom are uh, still retain the name, like there's a girl called Cinderella, but um, but the character of Buttons is called Chadwick in mm. this one, um, her friend, um, and in fact he isn't Buttons, he's replaced that. And what these people are, these characters, are real characters. They have an existence beyond the play. But we've we've actually got Shetland ponies, white Shetland ponies, who appear. We've we've still got, because the story, um, we're still using the element of the story where the fairy godmother comes to Cinderella, and um, we have a transformation. So Cinderella does you know, the magic spell of a pumpkin turning into a coach and and white mice turning into ponies, and then she goes to the ball where she meets the prince, so that element is still there, because that's in the original story. No, you've got to come and see it to find out if there's a happy ending. <laughs>